You can see that as soon as I scan the RFID card, the lock opens. If I scan an RFID tag that is not valid, the lock will not open. If you don't have a card, this system also has a password option. When I enter the correct password, the lock opens. But if the wrong password is entered, the lock will not open. This system is very secure and easy to use. Hello everyone. In today's video, we are going to create a project that will make your door more modern and secure. This system works in two ways, RFID card and keypad. Before we begin, I have a small request. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. And if you enjoy this video, please give it a like. Your support motivates us to make more amazing projects like this. If you have any questions related to the project, feel free to ask in the comment section. Thank you. Now let's get started without any delay. In this video, I am using the Arduino Mega, but if you want, you can also use the Arduino Uno for this project. Earlier, I created a video where I used only an RFID module and Arduino Uno. If you'd like to watch that video, I'll provide the link in the description so you can check it out. First, we will take a sheet of PVC pipe and attach the Arduino Mega to it using a glue gun. Next, we will take a breadboard and place the RFID reader on it. And we will attach the keypad to the breadboard using a glue gun to ensure both components are securely fixed in place. This will create a stable setup for our project. Next, we will attach the 12C LCD module. Also, this will allow us to display messages such as access granted or incorrect password on the LCD screen when the system is used. Make sure all components are securely fixed so that they stay in place during use. After that, we'll take a piece of wire and connect one end to the servo motor. The other end of the wire will be attached to the lock mechanism. This will allow the servo motor to rotate and control the locking and unlocking of the door. When the servo motor rotates, it will either open or close the lock depending on whether the correct RFID card or password is entered. Make sure that the wire is securely attached to both the servo motor and the lock and that it is able to move freely without obstruction when the servo rotates. This step will complete the mechanical control for the door lock system. Now that your setup is almost complete, the next step is wiring the components together. Here's how you can wire everything. 
To connect the RFID module to the Arduino Mega using jumper wires, follow these steps carefully. Once you've connected the RFID module to your Arduino Mega, the next step is to connect the keypad. The keypad will allow the user to input a password in case the RFID card is not available. Adding an extra layer of security to your door lock system. To connect the keypad to the Arduino Mega, follow the wiring diagram on your screen. Next, we will connect the LCD module to the Arduino Mega. The interface makes it easy to connect the LCD using just four pins, VCC. Connect to the 5V pin on the Arduino Mega for power.gnd. Connect to the GND pin on the Arduino Mega for ground.sda. Connect to pin 20 on the Arduino Mega.scl. Connect to pin 21 on the Arduino Mega. Now we will connect the servo motor to the Arduino Mega. A servo motor has three pins that need to be connected. Signal pin, yellow this pin is used to control the servo. Connect it to a PWM capable pin on the Arduino Mega, such as pin 9.power pin. Red connect this pin to the 5V pin on the Arduino Mega for power. Ground pin connect this pin to the GND pin on the Arduino Mega. Now our hardware setup is complete. Let's move on to uploading the program. The code for this project is available in the video description and you can download it from there. Open the code in Arduino IDE. Install required libraries. Go to the Tools menu in Arduino IDE, then select Manage Libraries.in the Library Manager. Search for each library name, select it, and click Install. Repeat this for all the libraries mentioned in the code. Open Tools menu, select Board, then choose Arduino Mega 2560. Next, select the correct port where your Arduino Mega is connected. Click on the Upload button. When the upload is successful, once the code is successfully uploaded, follow these steps. Open the serial monitor. 
Hold the RFID card near the RFID reader module. The system will detect the card and display its unique ID in the serial monitor. Select and copy this code from the serial monitor. Paste the code into your program. Paste the copied ID into this section. Select your board and port in the Arduino IDE and re-upload the updated code to your Arduino Mega. Now, your RFID card is programmed to unlock the system. Now that our code is successfully uploaded, Let's check out the demo today as soon as I scan the RFID card. The lock will open. If I scan a tag that isn't registered, the lock will remain closed. For the keypad, I've set the password as 123 hashtag, which will open the door. However, if an incorrect password is entered, the door will stay locked. So. How did you like today's project? I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. See you in the next video.